Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's go funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Uh, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing, keep watching. We do really appreciate your time, your effort, and your genuine support. Uh, please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I'll be delighted to react to whatever you suggest. Um, you can find us on social media. We go by Fanny and Jesse on Instagram and Facebook. Check out our, our blogging channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Hit the subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Turkey goes off all limits for Islam. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. There's some good news coming out from Muslims in Turkey. This one got us some hope. We all know Turkey is a secular country because of its history, but the majority of them are Muslims. Masha Allah. Here we are about to discuss LGBTQ ban demand. That's much needed. They are doing a good thing as a community. Thousands march in Istanbul. Turkey demands a ban on LGBTQ. Protesters held signs that read, protect your family and your generations and say no to the project of genderless society. An anti-LGBTQ group marched Sunday in Istanbul demanding that LGBTQ associations be shuttered and their activities banned in the largest demonstration of its kind in Turkey. A speaker for the organizers said they demand a new law from Turkey's parliament that would ban what they called LGBTQ propaganda, which they say pervades Netflix, social media, arts and sports. People are here despite the rain for their children, for future generations, said a protester, urging the Turkish government to take action. They should save the family. They should save the children from this filth. Well, pride is banned in Turkey, but still they took it out to the notice of the world and government and self-awareness. This is what is called preventive action, which is much needed. Gender is fluid. What nonsense. How on earth we are being forced to believe such things. They are even manipulating children and their minds. And they tell us this is new normal. There were times where pride was allowed in Turkey, but now it's banned. Honestly speaking, what made them named it pride? It's a grave crime. It's very shameful and bizarre. We all need to learn something. When we are united, we can do much better. Even if the West is so powerful, we need to correct them when they are wrong. We are not here to destroy Western culture. Islam is there to rectify and beautify it. Any culture for that matter, God has certainly placed limits in love and intimacy. We need to fall in the boundary. We hope other countries also take these steps. We also need intellectual debates, dialogues and conversations to convince people with wrong beliefs. Brothers and sisters, when we see something wrong, especially as big as this, it should trigger us. If it is not bothering us, then we can imagine the level of impact this has on our society. Inshallah, hope for more good coming our way. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, very interesting video. This is actually a very sensitive topic. And what you say may put you in trouble. What you say may even have you banned on YouTube. What you say may have you suspended. And you can't please people with um, your response, especially if you're disagreeing with this uh, pride situation. Um, why? Why now? What's this fuss about pride now or the LG whatever community? Because the other day, the Zambian government was forced to say something by the citizens. Um, the Kenyan government also said something did they say something or they banned anything to do with this pride thing in the movies in the television shows such things 
and now we're hearing this about Turkey as well what exactly is going on um i don't know i always say this why is it that we have to speak about it if that's your lifestyle why not be out there enjoying it on your own you don't have to tell me that you this just do your thing i don't have to tell you that i'm straight i have to do my own thing that's what I'm saying. Why is it that the straight people are not making a fuss about being straight? But because you're this type of way, you want to make noise about it. I always say, sometimes as foreigners, we're always going to say, you know what, when you go to someone's country, respect it. But then when you're a national, what happens then? Because that's your country. That's why you were born in and you feel some type of way you want to be. Uh, something that your country may not accept in all honesty if you can't live in your country then go to a country where you are accepted for what you are for what you want to do for what you want to partake in um and what does the quran actually say about such things and what does the quran say about this situation that's something i'd love to know because um, I don't know for people to come out and say we don't want this they don't want it but then what's going to happen to the populations that actually identify as being part of the pride community should we should society completely shut them out what happens and then the issue is this many people are not bothered that you're gay you're lesbian you're trans you're what people Especially people not from our time because our time is experimenting with all sorts of things. The generation before us and others way before the one I'm talking about are not for this. And they don't want this to be spread to children. Why is it that a cartoon now has to have such things involved? Pride things involved? They feel like children are being programmed when you're a child you're being programmed into believing you're some type of way when you're not and programming is actually quite effective that's why sometimes we have the opinion that we have because of what we've grown up watching people don't want their children to be misled people don't want their children to be taught how to think should Children should be free from all this. It's one thing to put it in an adult movie, but another thing to put it in a child, a children's program. Um, which is, I would have to admit and agree that is unfair because you're teaching the child something they may not even be. You know, you're exposing them to something they shouldn't be exposed to. Otherwise, at the end of the day, I feel like the people that put such things in children's programs won't stop now. They put it in adults movies don't stop now it's up to you to filter or watch what your children watch it's up to you to filter what you yourself watch and create your own narrative of things i don't know it's really tough just don't force people to accept what they don't understand what they don't want to understand let people be if five years from now ten years from now they say okay we now understand and we're fine with it give them that chance you know give them that room to agree and disagree it's okay to have different opinions but then no one should no country should have to force other countries to accept what doesn't settle with them no government should have to pass laws under pressure to please i don't know who um like i said it's a very very sensitive issue just do you don't force things we don't have to make noise about it um but if you feel like your rights are being um played with they you can always go to the authorities you know but if the authorities read the constitution and it doesn't allow that then i don't know otherwise fight for what you believe in just like these people marched against it so yeah those are my thoughts i don't know about you guys what are your thoughts what do you think about this entire thing um if there's anything that you have to say 
please comment down below your opinions your um your opinions are actually always welcome if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video